you know those days where it's it's just good like you woke up like me i woke up i i had kind of a weird dream but i woke up and i was a little bit tired and i just sort of got up and i stretched a little bit and i drank some water i had a good breakfast i um i read a little bit of my book i um I, I like I said I hydrated well. I went to a coffee shop. I got some writing done. I had a really good coffee. Uh, I took a really nice shower. It's just it's been a good day. And you know what I call those days? I call them Dimash days. So we're back. On those days, I watch some Dimash because I'm already having a good day. Let's make it even better. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor, and I might be in love with Dimash Kundai Bergen. I've already reacted to the live performance of this, but so many of you during my no reaction said you need to check out his Love Like Tired Swans video. So I'm excited to check this out. I've heard uh, that it's very good. I really don't know anything else about it, just that um, you guys all wanted me to see it. So let's watch it. But before we do that, thank you, of course, to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for helping me focus on my career and what I am so blessed to be able to do as an actor, as a screenwriter, as a filmmaker. And yes, as a YouTuber, thank you so much for helping this make a situation where I can focus on this and be talking about things that I love and sharing uh, whatever minimal knowledge I have with you guys and you guys sharing in return. Thank you so much. But let's jump in. Let's see what this is all about. Beautiful opening shot. Nice bird call in the sound design as the wing hits the ground. People struggling under chicken wire. Wow. Посмотри. Не в глаза, ты прости мне, я сожалею, я люблю тебя, жизнь моя без тепла, я тобой болею, удержать не смогли. I would watch the whole movie. There you go. If that was a minute, an 11 minute long teaser for a film, I'd watch it unequivocally. So we have the wing that falls down. We have this gorgeous tight shot on him of sweat pouring down his face and he's golden in the background blue and they're using so many colors already. That incredible shot of him in the clouds. Now I have to confess to you guys, normally I'm not a big fan of a lot of CGI, but when it's done like that, that was such an epic shot to establish where he is and establish this heavenly place that's clearly going wrong now we're showing all kinds of landscapes and suddenly it's become handheld clearly something's wrong there's some sort of demonic figure holding him down as he's apologizing world building world building left and right everyone Fighting to escape. Dirt. Oh, interesting. Не могу жить в разлуке лебеди. Подожди, не спеши. Не говори, что чувствую. Beautiful. Beauty. 
So as far as I can tell, most of this is being shot on location. Some of it is definitely green screen, but I think most of these scenes within the rocks are real. I think. And if you can't tell, hey, that means it's good. That means it's good green screen, right? If you're not sure. So I think most of it's real. Um, now, I think that they've laid down mats like in this dance space. They've got a flat surface underneath and some dust. So one, the dust gets kicked up, but two, it's really hard to dance on that, on that terrain. But what incredible dance moves. And, and, and to have all the people staged and in the light with the light shining into their eyes. Now, I could be wrong. I could easily see this being shot in a studio, but I, I would guess that they're shooting actually out in a physical space. That feels like something Dimash would prefer to do. He, he strikes me as someone that prefers to be out in the actual authentic space. The colors that they're using, red, a sign of passion and love and, of course, blood and death. It also matches with these red rocks where they're dancing with everything that's going on there and goes so well with this golden light. It's like everything here is happening at sunset. So it's really wonderful. And of course, they're pairing everybody off. Swans, love of tired swans. Um, really, really intrigued by the symbolism here and the colors that they're using. Nice subtle makeup, but it's effective. Great strength in his voice. Shot. Oh, cool. Using that wing. So, what's happening here is they've got them all. I've never actually done any wire work, but they've got them rigged up on wires and they're lifting them up into the air, which can often look a little hokey, a little cheesy. And it doesn't look that way here. Number one, they've already established the rules of the world. The wings don't necessarily have to move for them to be flying. Therefore, it doesn't have to look that way. Also, the way that they're filming it is what helps. They're either moving right in front of the camera or off in the background. It's not where the eye is supposed to be looking. I also really like this shot that I paused on. He's center framed. He's got this big thing happening behind him. I just wanted to point out the incredible technical achievement of what they're doing. Um, it's, it's hard to make something like this look as good as they are. And it, it looks really good. So <laughs> I'm basically saying really good job to the, to the technical aspect of making this. I just, I need to talk about the sensuality of the performance. The song itself caresses you, right? This, da, da, da. it's so, and even when it goes up, da, 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 I know those weren't the notes, but even then there's a warmth to it. And the way that they're all touching each other, it's so gentle and soothing. And it's like, they're constantly craving each other's touch. And that's a wonderful note as a character. They're constantly engaging with one with one another in that aspect of it. And that's really, really cool to, to watch. And it makes you feel like you're a part of it as well. Because what you're hearing matches what you're seeing. You feel like it's being kind of whispered into your ear almost. Even with this fire coming down, you almost feel safe because he's there to, prote to protect you and to guide you. Yeah. Oh, cool. Whoa. Uh -huh. Sorry, 
I'm going to take it back because I know it goes into that beautiful section. The thing that's really impressive about this is literally every frame of this music video looks like it's a painting. It looks like it's some sort of, 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 I'm not very good with art in general. Renaissance. It looks like a Renaissance painting. Every single one of them. It looks like something you'd find on, on the Sistine Chapel. And it's really hard to stage that again without it looking hokey. And yet again, it feels like we're watching some sort of epic poem unfold, right? Where these, these invaders have come in and come out of the earth and are fighting. It's this battle of both above the sky and under the sky versus the sky itself and the, those who dwell in it. And this idea of losing their wings, the pain grows stronger in separation as they're having the wings separate themselves. They're not just in love with one another, but there's there's the love of the earth and the sky, that they're born out of the earth when they put this dirt down, and then they become one with the sky. Now the earth and the sky are fighting into war with each other, and they're kind of being bound to it by having their wings stripped of them. There's a beautiful and painful epic story being told within this, and it's almost a lament more than anything else. It's um, remembering what once was. It feels like you're hearing an origin poem being read to you. It's beautiful. Oh, cool. <laughs> look at the lighting, look at the colors. Nice. Sorry, I just want to say you go handheld there. You, you go handheld with the camera instead of these smoother shots because you want it to feel like you have to capture this moment. You only have one take because they're escaping. It has more of a documentary feel. So it feels a lot more intimate, like something big is happening. Also, I'm sorry, but if I were on the brink of execution and Dimash was singing like that near me, I would, my whole passion for life would be reignited too. I'd be like, no, you can't kill me. Listen to that. Do you hear that voice? Um, I forgot how impressive his vocals were on this song. It's incredible. Great shot. They, they die on their own terms. As always, a remarkable performance and video from this guy. He just doesn't miss, does he? Everything is that good. I have to say, in terms of scale, this was easily the most impressive thing I've seen from him. If that was a movie, I would have gladly watched it. Now, I, I just, I think he took the intent of the song and worked with the production team and made a remarkable video out of it. And and one that was really, really brave in terms of scope and scale. And not only brave, but they did it. They pulled it off to, to remarkable effect. It sort of had this um, Icarus, Daedalus kind of, of influence on it. Um, and certainly a Renaissance era uh, story that was unfolding in a mythological feel. Uh, and it was just extraordinary to watch. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, of everything about that. And I, I don't know if that showed through, but I hope it did. Because uh, it's just, he's, 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 um, he's got talent. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for you in this one. I hope you enjoyed. I, again, obviously very much did. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Drink lots of water. Fix your posture. And until next time, be well, my friends. I'll see ya.